What is going on everybody? BP Gaming here with a, another live stream. Today we are playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. We haven't played it since, uh, what, last Tuesday, something like that. So I figured we'd play it. I know everybody's wanting to see uh, some FS22. We will be playing that maybe tomorrow. Um, I, I want to, when I play it, I want to make sure I'm in the mood to play it so that it's enjoyable. And, uh... I honestly I wasn't in the mood today to play it so uh, so that's why we we decided to play this game you never want to play something you're not in the mood to play especially if you're going live people can tell you don't enjoy it you ain't enjoying it this needs help with a new business opportunity Dutch told us to try and rescue Sean from the bounty hunters holding him in Blackwater. Okay, that may be fun. Dutch asked that you may get Micah out of jail in Strawberry. Let's do this one. That one sounds kind of fun. Excuse me, horsies. Hey, what's going on, Jake Thompson? Welcome to the stream, bro. How's it going, man? Yeah. 
Hope you're having a great day. are headed to go help Javier. Hey, no problem, Jake. Always welcome here, bro. You will become wanted if seen by a law in the area. Huh. Is that lawman right there? Bulls are staring at me. This could be pretty nasty. Hello, sir. No. We Shit. have vandal in the boy here. Put him in the ground. guys That was one heck of a fall. Okay, so that's black water. Okay, I think I can miss it. Right now I'm in bounty area.
I need to find a way across right there. Let's go. Ah, screw it. If I stay out of black water itself, I should be able to make it. No way up right there. Cops are gone. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Hey. <clears throat> Where is that little Irish best? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Anyone been in the black water, see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, well, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. And a gentleman? Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? Then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. <clears throat> you know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and then we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCourt. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. <laughs> you think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. Come on, let's keep them in sight. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Hey. 
pick up the pace a bit. I'm following you, bro. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's where they're headed. Sure. All right. Let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me. Ah! Can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Do the dirty on them. Get your knife ready. Keep it. Red down. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. He's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. You She's take the one on the left. Where is she? Let's go now. Keep down. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A flash. That's all. Is gentlemen? I think you have it from here. Oh. <laughs> Let me pick him up. But I do want to lose him real quick. Okay. 
Come on. We got two. Halfway up the canyon to deal with. Are we shooting them? I can't wait to get back home again. Me neither. The older I get, this travel wears me out. I just want to make enough money to. Come on! We need to get past these son of bitches! This way. Come on. Charles, you take the right. I'll go left. Okay. Take them down. Got a damn army of these bastards. How much is Sean's bound to be bigger than ourselves? Still time. A lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. 
I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. <laughs> You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <coughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah. I can't wait. I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not. The joy's <coughs> back in your lives now. Let's see what we can find. Let's see what They're coming right for me. We gotta go. Almost got caught there. What are you doing? We're about to find out though.
trail. You know Billy Smith, the yeah. Dragon Dragon? He moved on as soon as he saw me, Whoa. but I knew it was him. Didn't know things had got that bad for him. Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good force. Do this is gonna be just pull uh, about, about 30 more minutes. Um, during the week, I try to st I stream for about an hour usually, sometimes an hour and a half. Uh, I get up early, really early in the morning to go to work. Don't leave me in here more. Weekends is my uh, when I stream for a long period of time. Oh! 
trust you. You have finally lost your damn mind. Oh, that's all I got. God damn maniac! I should have left you to hang. We're in it now, Morgan. What do you want to do? Yeah. Skinny Micah, it's Norman. Oh, Ooh, we need uh anyone. Oh, Always was a let down, you fat sack of crap. Oh, excuse me, a man at Arthur. I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He had 
hadn't found us in time. Yes, you will all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. We got a storm coming in. Whoa! I think we finally lost him. I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up <laughs> by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fellow, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you... And hey, me. what's going on, Big Math Studios? Sons Welcome to the God. stream. Makes us brothers. <laughs> Sometimes. And I am, uh, I'm on PC. I'm heading back to my little camp around I play on computer. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, oh, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <laughs> Bye now. Hmm. Let's see. Now I'm wanted in strawberry. <laughs> That's our place. Quite the journey, but that's our ninety dollar bounty. Whew. How much is it here? Ninety? Yeah, I got ninety on my head. Okay, let's uh guess let's make our way to the other one. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Ooh. tracks for a train. I had problems with my game keep crashing and everything. I um I've only had the game for a week, honestly. So uh I haven't experienced any. Do you have mods in your game though? What the hell was that? Like, I haven't added any mods or anything to mine yet. Ooh. No mods. That's weird, man. I played a... Uh... So I only have like probably 10 hours in the game, but I haven't experienced any issues. Has it been doing that since you got it, or here recent? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll catch you later, t uh, Jake. All good, bro. Since you got it. 
Is your um? Did you make sure your PC met all the requirements? Yep. Especially on high graphics, this game can take can pull some uh, can take a toll, kind of like GTA. Maybe a thing where uh, where you turn down some of your uh, like graphic settings and stuff and try it out, kind of tone it down a little bit, and uh, and th that could that could solve the problem. Sixteen gigabytes of RAM. Okay, then I, I was about to say I put my cross set for something. Sounds like you have enough RAM. Hmm. Hey, what's going on, Rice Farmer? Welcome to the stream, bro. School night. I hear that, man. It's work night for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be stopping the stream here in a little while. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll settle down. Oh, uh, you know I go live on weekends, man. Yeah, weekdays I, yeah, I mean you've noticed, Rice Farmer, I stream for uh, for about an hour, sometimes an hour and a half, just depends. But Big Mouth Studios, as we were we were talking, man, I, it sounds like you got enough. You may just try to play around with your uh, with your graphic settings. It could be something in there. So, like I said, I got about ten hours on the game, and and I haven't experienced any issues out of it. And I got my graphics turned all the way up. Except for like one of them, I think. I think one of them I didn't turn up. I just seen your other comment, it, you know, the i7 and the 3060. There's no reason it should be doing that. Hey, I, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate the sub here. I'll drop your, your sub sound. I appreciate that, bro. You, you take care, man. You have a good evening. I wish I could have been more help, bro. I wish I, I wish I could have. I just you said your your PC should run that no problem. Hey, see you later, bro. You you have a good evening, man. Oh, it's a long yep. ride, guys. I see that rise, farm. We're rising, man. We're getting up there. We are getting to our big goal. So that'll be our second goal reached is, uh, is 100 subs. Our first goal was 50 and I made it to that. And 
at a hundred I'm gonna do a do an event in my uh, in the discord Hey, dog bite me. It'd be funny. All right. That's an interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's huh? trusting. I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Perspective, new, He's partner, new partner. If he likes us, liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that. And then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. Don't kill nobody. Looks like Wyoming Looks no or we Texas ain't without now. any you road, know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. Yeah. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. All the issue is too many mountains for Texas. Beautiful country, though, man. Beautiful out here. Really? Really? All right, what we got here? He said the place Get is out of my way. Here. Me? Watch out. You watch You're out. You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Look where you're going. You look where you're going. Oh, yeah. I mean, this guy gonna argue. Joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should oh, have yeah. rats now. Used to take. Yeah, it is. be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there.
Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Got someone on the front porch. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? It's due day. It's due now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Hang back. Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. This don't even look like a game. Dude, the graphics look pretty good, don't it? Rice Farmer. Let's see. My good man! My good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, son? Sure is. Get him down here. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost! How many years? I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, oh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. Dip. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Both of you, sir. Uh, my name. My name's. Now, don't tell no one, because in New York, I'm kind of famous. I once performed on Broadway. Now, that's not important or relevant. I have been saved. I've been found. I got one. We need money. Ooh, we got some money in there. Fifteen dollars. $45 ain't a lot now, but at that time, yeah, it was. Yeah, back back then, back this time, it was uh, a lot of money, man. Wait for Jose inside the barn. Okay. Hmm. 
Nice coach. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. You should have been more careful. Yeah, sorry. Must have left the dresser open. Huh? I did. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. None too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. Huh? <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Till we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry, we could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. <clears throat> Total take 300. Oh, we getting some money. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for tonight's stream. We will be going live again tomorrow. Uh, not sure what we're going to play yet. Um, like I said, I'll try to do some FS22 streams. Maybe tomorrow. Um, we'll see how it goes. But y'all have a great rest of your evening. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. BP Gaming is out.